English language level up. Refresh with Jitter at five. Yes. I'm not playing this episode today. My cousin recorded this and sent it to me, and I'm watching it now on my on my tablet. But I know it's about clothing vocabulary. Clothing vocabulary. And it looks like we are in a very expensive, exclusive, very chic clothes shop. Okay, what is he? What is he going to look at first? What's here? Tops. Okay, what kind of tops? Okay, it looks like a leather jacket with a with a fur collar. A leather jacket with a fur collar. Okay, this has got a nice. Oh, the yellow one has got a leopard print collar, a leopard print collar, and the blue one has got a zebra print collar. Now we are looking at a denim jacket. A denim jacket. This denim is the material, the same material as jeans. A denim jacket. Okay, you like that one? No. Okay. Back to the yellow T-shirt. Oh, okay. A ski jacket. These are ski jackets. Jackets you might wear for skiing. Okay. And now here is a jumper. There are two words for this. You can either say jumper or sweater. I'm wearing a jumper right now. Jumper is more British English, and sweater is more American English. But sometimes British English people say sweater too. I like that jumper actually with the pattern. Okay, back to a T-shirt. So let's look at. He's looking at different T-shirt logos.、Um, logo is is the the symbol for a company, and often on a T-shirt you can find logos. Okay, he doesn't like those. Ah.、Uh, okay, now we're on to shirts. Uh, these are not short sleeve shirts. These are long sleeve shirts. Okay. And ah, let's tell you this vocabulary. He's wearing his shirt untucked. Untucked. It means it's outside of the trousers. You can either wear it tucked in or untucked. He's wearing an untucked shirt. And now he's looking at suit jackets. Suit jackets. A jacket which might be part of a suit, and in America they call these sports jackets, which I don't understand because you wouldn't wear it to play sports. Okay, now we are on to dungarees. Dungarees, they're denim, and it goes, it covers your legs and your chest, and it has straps over the shoulder. They're dungarees. Okay, now we're looking at the trousers. Trousers, or as Americans would say, pants. Well, actually, they'd say pants. Okay, there's some. Well, there's lots of choice in this shop. Lots of choice. Okay, some checked trousers. Okay, now we're onto shorts. Shorts, and these kind of shorts with a pocket in the side are called cargo shorts. Okay, so he's chosen a red, well, maroon. This dark red is maroon. Maroon shirt with green cargo shorts, and now we're looking at shoes.、Um, actually, I'd call these boots because they they go a little bit further up the ankle. Boots, walking boots. They're they're made for walking a long way. And yeah, in GTA 5, I suppose you do a lot of walking, so you want some good walking boots. Okay, I'm very interested to see what outfit my cousin is going to walk out of the shop wearing. When you have all your clothes selected, this is your outfit. What outfit am I going to wear today? Okay, now <laughs> what are these cowboy cowboy boots? These kind of boots with a pointy heel, and they go a bit further up your, just under your knee, are cowboy boots. And now he's looking at flip flops, 
flip-flops. Um, I don't think they call them flip-flops in America, maybe they call them sandals. Um, but I would definitely call these kind of beach sandals flip-flops. Okay, he's choosing, he wants to get just the right colour of flip-flops. Has he chosen those ones? No, he's still not sure on the colour. Okay, now, he's not having flip-flops. These are trainers. Trainers. Or Americans would say sneakers. Sneakers. Or you could just say sports shoes. Sports shoes. Okay. What are these now? Okay. Um, sandals. Sandals. These are not flip-flops because they don't go between your toe. They go over your foot, so they are sandals. Oh. Now, he's wearing a white suit with a red handkerchief in his pocket, a red handkerchief, and he's choosing a tie, a tie, to wear just here, a tie. What kind of tie? Oh, this, you missed it. The tie which is like this, two triangles, is a bow tie, a bow tie. These bow ties, now. Is he going to take a bow tie? White bow tie, it matches the white suit. Okay, is that, is that your choice? Okay, now what are we looking at? Gloves! Gloves! They go on your hands. They are gloves. Okay, are these leather? Leather gloves? Okay, he's choosing some leather gloves. Leather gloves are sometimes known as driving gloves. Uh, okay, is that... Okay, now he's looking at hats. This type of hat is a baseball hat or baseball cap or just cap. Oh, and now he's wearing his cap backwards. Yeah, I don't think it's cool to do that anymore, is it? It used to be. I actually think it's a good idea to wear your cap backwards because you protect your neck from the sun, right? Oh, a flat cap. This type of hat is called a flat cap. Lots of different colours of flat cap. You can't choose... He's chosen not to have a flat cap. Oh! A cowboy hat. Or a Stetson hat. Cowboy hat or a Stetson hat. I suppose that, yeah, the white one, it, it matches his suit, okay. What now? Headphones! Headphones! Okay, choosing some headphones. Is there some branding happening here? Is that the real Beats logo? Have they paid to be advertised in GTA 5? Oh! Helmets! Crash helmets! Oh, I like that one with the British flag. Okay, crash helmets. Is he going to wear a crash helmet? Okay. Military helmets, military helmets, I say military, Americans say military, they add an extra syllable. Okay, is that it? Uh, have we left the shop? It's a nice car, or are we going to a different shop? I haven't seen this before. This is my first time watching it, I thought it would be more fresh to watch it and explain for the first time. Okay. We're now looking at women's wear. The previous one was men's wear. And here we are looking at women's wear.